here we are in Mondello for the training day. We're here with bike to bike training. So can you tell us a bit about it? Or? I certainly can. Um, Karen, basically today is for all um, new race license holders who are interested in going racing this year. So what we do is we basically um, we take them here today. Um, all the information that they will need to come racing. So we start off with all the rules and regulations and then what they would need to get their bikes through scrutiny. Um, then I would talk then myself about PPE, which is personal protection equipment, so all about the, the gear that they're wearing from their boots right through to their helmet. Um, after that then, um, we would speak about braking and the techniques of braking, so it's very important, you know, scrubbing off speed um, on track. We would speak about that in full. And then we actually get them to partake in that. So we get them out of the paddock and they practice it. They practice the braking techniques and it gives us a great opportunity to see how they're using their brakes. Are they using them in the correct order, the correct manner and so on and getting the most from their brakes. Then um, we will then basically speak about cornering, the art of cornering, getting in through and out of the corner safely, um, using a system. Basically, we apply a system um, as it's called motorcycle control, information, position, speed, gears, and acceleration. And that gives them tools to ride in a systematic order rather than just not knowing what to do. So it gives them an order in which way they should get the bike in through and out of the corner. that then the fun begins, we get them on their practice starts and for most guys, and guys even going back 3-4 years ago, when they lined up in the group that was the very first time out in that grid and it's daunting, it's frightening, there's 30 bikes out there.
Basically, for the likes for today, this will be all for new race license holders. Right. If you were coming to do a track day, and yeah. we do it, we have a lot of options open for you. you race license holders, full license holders, provisional license holders can come provided they do a training day. Okay. So we have training days usually once every month. So that then gives provisional license holders the opportunity to come and practice their art out on track. And it's the safest place really to do it, you know, because yeah. you've no obstacles, you've, you've got good runoff. You've no junctions and so on. Excellent. Thanks very go. much, Sarah. So thanks, Karen. <laughs> Thank Take you. care. <laughs> Start with motorbikes and start racing. Um, I started racing in 2009. I'd uh, been on road bikes, uh, came up here doing track days on my road bike and got the bug straight away, sold all my road gear and uh, decided to <laughs> get into the racing in 2009. So I started doing Clubman's on a GSSR 1000 in 2009. Um, finished second in the Southern Championship that year. Um, then I changed to a 2000, in 2010 uh, 
I did again, but didn't do many meetings because of the financial pressures of trying to keep it going. And then 2011, last year, I changed to a, an R6, but unfortunately injured, injured myself in the very first meeting after only four laps in qualifying, and I was out of action until October. So I made me come back here then at the Masters in October and ended up with two podiums in the cup class, so it wasn't a bad end to the year. The plan for this year is um, probably going to stick with doing the Southern meetings in the Mondello Championship and they've moved to uh, Bishopsport this year yes, for one round sorry. so I'm going to try and take in that as well. Excellent. I've been there before twice, haven't had the best of luck so... I heard it's a dodgy track. Yeah well it is for me anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give that a go this year as well and try and do, uh, try and do that at least and probably squeeze in a couple of clubman's meetings. Um, there's one here on the 1st of April. That would be the, the first album for the year, no? the first of April, so see you sure. And have you got any advice for anyone starting now? For... Uh, advice? <laughs> Get a good job to pay for it. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's just a brilliant buzz, like, you know, yeah. there's, like, track days are great fun, and that's where it all started, like, yeah. just when you get out there in a grid, and get lined up with 30 other lads, and you're all revving, getting ready for that first corner, there's just, there's nothing like it. Brilliant. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just that's just what you live for. This the whole winter you just spend all you're doing is thinking about getting out again in April. Excellent. And uh, yeah, it's uh, highly recommended. Brilliant. Well, best of luck. Thanks very much. I hope it goes well. So I've got uh, a sponsor on board. They're uh, Bike Trans. Um, he's a horse biking. Um, Clexing delivers motorcycles from the UK, so I'd like to say a big thanks to him and my resident mechanic, uh, William Patterson from Patterson Tyler. Brilliant. You can't get very far without having No, the definitely not. These days. I keep him busy anyway, patching up. Exactly. Alright, well, best right. of luck. Okay, thank, thank you. you.